Oh, hi. I was just spying on that family, checking on my family sister's wedding photos that I went to. I thought, having talked recently about the tragedy and comedy, now would be a good time to talk about Robin Williams in One Hour Photo. It's a film directed by Mark Romanek, who has an extensive videography but limited filmography. One Hour Photo stars Robin Williams as Cy the Photo Guy, a more photo desk technician obsessed with a seemingly happy family. I process these photos as if they were my own. See, someone had quite a birthday party. It's a serious and range-demanding role for Robin Williams, and although he had such roles before and after, One Hour Photo stands out because of Williams' performance and because it is perhaps one of the most precise and technically considered movies to get such a wide release. The film is incredibly well put together without ever becoming self-indulgent. The camera work is like a fine piece of engineering. Its intricacies are invisible and frugal. We have careful but committed use of colour, the whites for the mall and Sai's home, vibrant colours for the life of the Yorkins, who Sai idolises, and paedophile beige for Sai himself. It's in between Care Home Tan and Builder's Tea. Ask Ken Nordine. The music is traditional enough not to be overt, but used in a way where it does add tone, but never manipulates emotion. And I haven't even gotten on to Robin Williams. Hmm, I might like this movie. We at first discover the life of Sai and the unsuspecting family he has been watching for quite some time. Then Sai's world, based upon the hope, however unlikely, that he might befriend the Yorkins, is rocked when he discovers that Will Yorkin has been cheating on his wife. Sai is fired and has a breakdown, confronting Will and his mistress before fleeing the scene. Then he's apprehended, and that's kind of it. It sounds very simple, and really it is, but despite its simplicity, its story is compelling and it's full of suspense. It's the sort of movie that's more about its main character than what its main character does. And I mean that in a good way. What makes the character so interesting is that if I simply describe what he does, he just sounds creepy. He fantasises about infiltrating a completely innocent family. He talks to the son alone. He follows them, is consumed by them. But he's relatable in his loneliness, in his wretched existence, and in his being played as if incredibly damaged by trauma. Here, we can see Sai manipulating Nina Yorkin. He's already discovered what she's reading and plotted an encounter where she might see him reading the same book. The things we fear the most have already happened to us. Wow, I had no idea you were such a deep thinker, Sai. I wouldn't say that. As Sai manipulates Nina, as he reels her in, we're exposed to an unexpected rawness. The point of interest should be how he manipulates this woman, but instead it becomes why. And that's because of Robin Williams. It's because he can offer a huge range in small time. Sai does bad things, yet the more time we spend with him, the easier it is to feel sorry for him, without there ever being a clear reason other than because he's lonely. Obviously, I can't say for sure how much of Williams is in his character in One Hour Photo, but I think his performance clearly shows he had a very high level of self-awareness, as well as ability to act, and I think those two things together are not very common. I think the movie is art, in that it clearly has something to say and knows how to say it, and I don't think it was made just to be a product. The direction, as with the performances, is restrained, but the movie is highly emotive, and it almost feels at times like I don't know why. And I think that part of it is down to Williams' mastery of himself. One Hour Photo is the film I think of when I hear the name Robin Williams. 
he didn't resonate with me because he was good at being funny, but because he was good at being sad. <laughs>